Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will share with you how to make May Shai noodles. My name is Oge and you're welcome to my kitchen. Let's get started. I'll be using bell peppers for this recipe because I want the color to pop and I have different colors of bell peppers. I have the yellow, green and red bell peppers. I also have some scotch bonnet peppers for extra heat. I have one onion. I already washed the peppers properly off camera and I'll proceed to divide and cut off the peppers into my preferred sizes. I won't be using the whole pepper, I'll use half of each one. So I'll take out the seeds and proceed to cut it. If you're stopping by for the first time today, hello a warm welcome to you. My name is Ogi. Kindly consider subscribing to be a part of this amazing family. I post easy, delicious recipes here and I'm sure you would learn one or two. So please don't make today your last time. Kindly subscribe to be part of us and also turn on the post notification so you're among the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Subscription is free but you'll get value for your time here. To my amazing and returning subscribers, I want to say a big thank you to you guys. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you for always coming back to watch me. You guys are simply amazing. After cutting up the bell peppers, I'll also cut up half an onion because I don't want to use the full onion. And then I'll use my manual blender to blend my peppers roughly because I want it a bit rough. So the ingredients are ready. Let's move on to the next step of this recipe. I brought a pot of water to a rolling boil and to that I'll go in with my noodles. I'm using indomie noodles and this is the super pack. I'll use two packs for this recipe and I'll add that into my pot of boiling water. Cover it and allow it to cook for about 3 minutes. I used two fresh eggs for this recipe and I've gone ahead to break the eggs and transfer it to my mixing bowl. To that, I'll go in with my chopped vegetables. I'll add my onion and my peppers and I'll mix until it combines properly. Kindly follow me on other social media platforms. I'm active on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And the handle to search for is Oge Anyoku, Oge Anyoku on TikTok, Oge underscore Anyoku on Facebook and on Instagram. Kindly follow me here. Watch my videos, leave me your comments, and also share it out. I started out with two eggs, but while mixing, I realized that it wouldn't be enough, so I added an additional egg, and I did that off camera. I'll mix until it combines properly, and I'll set it aside. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so, so much for staying with me. You are amazing, and I'm so grateful to have you here. After cooking for about 4 minutes, I went back to check on the noodles and this is what it's looking like. This is perfect because I don't want it soggy. I'll transfer the cooked noodles into my egg mixture and I'll mix until it is properly combined. I hope you are enjoying the recipe. If you do, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Guys, I have a second YouTube channel where I post mainly vlogs, lifestyle vlogs. If you enjoy watching vlogs, then I can promise you that you will love the channel. So please subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification so you don't miss out whenever I post interesting and fun vlogs. I'll drop the link to the second YouTube channel in the description box of this video and I might also pin it in the comments. So please click to subscribe. I hope to see you guys there. Thank you. I'll add a little amount of cooking oil into my pan, allow it to heat up before going in with the mixture. Once I've added that into the pan, I'll use my spatula to spread it across. This will help it cook properly and evenly. And I'll cook on low to medium heat. This is to prevent it from getting burnt. I'll cook each side for about 4-5 to five minutes or until it's properly cooked. And once one side is properly cooked, I'll flip over to cook the other side as well. Flipping it over was a bit of a struggle, but I did it. You can see how colorful and yummy it looks. This tasted absolutely delicious. Have you ever tried this method of making noodles? Let me know in the comments. I'll also cook the other side for about 4 to 5 minutes before I turn off the cooker. And this 
guys is the final result. It looks delicious, right? Drop one word for these noodles in the comments section. We've come to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed watching. You can slice through just like how you slice through your pizza. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That way to get to a wider reach. Share it out to your family and your friends. Share it out anywhere you can. Your Facebook page, your WhatsApp, anywhere. Leave me your beautiful comments. Let me know if you'll be trying out the Snoodles recipe. And please, guys, subscribe to the channel if you're here to do so. Thank you for stopping by and I would love to see you all in my next one. Bye.